every year thousands of students appear for the INICET exam but only a few are able to crack it and top the exam. Hi, I'm Dr. Sahil Hingra. I was All India Rank 1 in November INICET 2021. In this video, I will be sharing the tips and strategies that I have used during my time to top the country and hopefully help you all to achieve the same. What is our first strategy? Step 1 is knowing the exam pattern. When we see the exam pattern, there are a total of 20 different subjects. So, however, when in the NEET exam, there is an equal distribution of all the subjects. But in the INICET exam, the distribution is not that equal. It is slightly in favor of the dental subjects. Now, suppose we divide the subjects into three parts. First subcategory being the core dental subjects, mostly the ones you study in your final year of BDS. The second are the remaining dental subjects or the other dental subjects such as PEDO, DADH, DM, etc. And the third category is the medical subjects. Now, when we see the core dental subjects, so what all come under the core dental subjects when it comes to the INICET examination? First is orthodontics, then oral pathology and oral medicine, conservative dentistry and endodontics, prosthodontics, periodontics, oral surgery and public health dentistry. So these are the seven core subjects for your INICET, which you have to mainly focus. Now these seven subjects will be the goal main core area as almost 120 to 130 questions would be asked from these seven only. So out of 20, you mainly have to focus on these seven subjects. Other than this, you have the remaining dental subjects from which a hard, hardly 10 to 20 questions would be asked on an average. These subjects include subjects such as periodontics, dental anatomy, dental histology, dental materials and oral radiology. Now, why periodontics is having a lesser weightage compared to other final year subjects is because in periodontics, I have only covered those areas which are not part of either ortho or endo. For example, if a vital pulp therapy question is asked for a primary tooth, we will take that into pediatric endodontics and cover that in endodontic segment. Similarly, anything related to orthodontics would be covered in orthodontics itself rather than periodontics. When I say periodontics, it basically includes child abuse, development, dev the milestones and development and all those stuff. So these five subjects are the least important out of all the three categories as they amount only to 10, 20 questions. Third is the medical subjects. Now all the eight medical subjects that we have starting from your first year subjects like an ad biochem physio or to moving to pharmacology, microbiology and pathology in second year and general surgery, general medicine. All these will give you a total of 50 to 60 questions in your INICD November exam. Now why November? Because the July pattern is little different, which we would discuss when the, that exam is there. But for the November exam, the medical subjects are quite important as almost 50 to 60 will come, which is just after the core dental subjects. So if let's say you are short on time, the goal should be first to cover these core seven subjects because anyhow more than 60 to 70 percent of the questions would be asked from these core subjects. Next, step two is time management. Now, August to let's say you have time till second week of November, 14th or 15th, usually the exam is on the second Saturday or Sunday of November. So the next point is time management. Time management is one of the most crucial aspects. We have a total of three months left currently. Now, as I told, the core subjects are the most important. So out of these three months, two months must be given to these core dental subjects. Now these two months will include the revision of those subjects. The three, at least three to four times you have to revise anything extra you have to go through in those subjects. These should be done in these two months. These, this timetable is including the revision part also. For the medical subjects, which will amount to 50 questions or 60 questions, 20 days should be devoted. And for the remaining dental subjects like PEDO, DADH and DM, only 10 days are enough because it will not amount to more than 10 questions. So even if you are short on time and you skip this part, this will not affect your result majorly as compared to subjects like ortho or prostho. Next is, in step 3, we will see how to cover each subject. Now I have told you what all subjects to cover first, what all subjects you can leave. Now, which subject to cover when and how? So, first is first step, you will see the QBank. We have the QBank in the Meritors app and for that, you have to read the explanations also so that you are well versed with the theory also along with the MCQs. After that, if there are any controversial questions, at times there are 10 to 20 percent questions which have varied answers among various books or various platforms. So for that, you have to follow our bytes, which will have the high yield notes and the controversial topic MCQ videos you can watch either on the YouTube channel or in the app also. Next is the tasks. Now, when, when it comes to the tasks, you have a guided prep pack 
and you also have a INICT power pack for the INICT. Now, why this is important is in this pack, you will have specific questions for the INICT, which are usually asked in previous AIMS, PGI or JIPMER exams. Next is after doing all these three things, you have to go to the previous year papers. That is your recalls. And after the recalls are done, then you are ready for the grand test and the national mocks, which will test your real time exam simulation and assessment. So when you are covering, this is the method, ideally how you have to revise in five steps. You have to revise each and every subject. And the idea is to start from the core subjects first. In the first month, try to cover around three to four core subjects, then move on to slightly subjects with a slightly lower weightage and then bounce back to the core subjects with a goal in mind that around two months should be given for the core subjects. Step four is the smart approach. Now, you know all the syllabus, you know that what all subjects are important, how to cover each subject, but time is less, only three months are left. So the goal is to cover more in less time. Now, how will you cover more in less time is you have to club, club the similar subjects as well as the similar topics. Now I have here, I have given a few examples here. For example, you can club ortho and pedo as there are a lot of similar things in these. Cons, endo, prosto and dm. These can be clubs. Things like impression materials are part of both prosto and dm. Similarly, dental cements comes under cons also, comes under dm also. Likewise, anatomy and OMFS can be clubbed and at last in the medical side, pharmac, micro and general paths. All these can be clubbed because in pathology, we will study what is wrong. Then in microbiology, we will study what all microorganisms will cause that wrongdoing. And in pharmacology, we will treat that cause. So if you manage to study in this manner, you will be able to cover more subjects in less time. At last, I would like to tell you that there is no other alternative to hard work. You have to work hard as well as at the same time, you have to follow the smart approach. Starting with your core dental subjects, followed by your medical subjects. And at last, if you have time, you can go through the other dental subjects such as dental materials or TADH. So with this, we come to the end of this informative video. If you like the video, do follow us on Instagram and subscribe our YouTube channels. And if you have not yet downloaded our app, you can download it from the Play Store or the App Store. Thank you and all the best.